It helps you find counters. It has a time traveling match history search and a few cheat sheets to help take your mods to the next level. Welcome to the first major update for the playbook. What's up everyone, we have an awesome video here today as the playbook is receiving its first major update. This is a good chunk of content here. You can see that will provide, this is a bit more of the tool side of things. This is more utilitarian. Uh, some very, very nice resources for a lot of facets of the game, mostly Grand Arena and uh, PvP competitive this time, let's say, but certainly lots to play with. Uh, this is was made free as of a week or two ago, so in case you missed it, we can go to the 3v3 teams real quick. These are teams that, uh, well, wasn't actually planning to do this live, but I guess it makes sense, especially while well, I can still show it. We have these 3v3 defense teams that I'm not even joking when I say this, have absolutely carried me through this 3v3 season. Not even too Galactic Legend heavy either. This is more on the technical side of things. This Luke team, or uh, the Ketamini team, I'll mention later, hasn't been included yet, but I need to get more testing on that first. This Luke team quite literally won me the match. The Luke team and Newt Dooku GBA absolutely put in phenomenal work. You'll see my Galactic Legends both got one shot, and this is a very, very low score for Division 1. This was a bloody battle on both ends, but these setups got me the W. Uh, yeah, and this, is, this isn't this is even just one match. This has been consistent. <laughs> this has never ended. You will see Luke got a hold here. You will see they did not clear me despite being in a position I say they could have been able to. Another non-full clear. And I believe in this battle, these setups up front actually pulled two Galactic Legends. So yeah, you can see all the good information you need here for how to be able to run these teams. Some very, very good stuff. So, some uh, specific modding in some of these, but this will walk you through on everything you need to know. You can see this team's absolutely ridiculous matchup tables here. I highly recommend them. It's, it's just been a blast. There's been so many screenshots rolling in of two holds, three holds on some of these teams. It's, look, 3v3 is not my favorite mode. I, I actively don't like the fact that it replaces 5v5 because I would rather just play 5v5 instead. But these teams have... I will start to admit I do kind of like 3v3 now just because it's been an absolute blast watching these teams go to work. Even as I'm making mistakes elsewhere, these teams are actively carrying me to victory. So yeah, feel very good about that. Again, not exactly new. It's been out for a little bit now, but in case you missed it, be sure to check that out. Moving on to the new stuff though, we have a few new things. So we have a mod farming cheat sheet here where you can put in the set that you're working on. So let's say health set. We have a few categories here for your ideal primaries, secondaries, and the stat ranges we're looking for. And you can see this gives you everything you really need to know. If you're new to mods, if you're feeling kind of overwhelmed with anything, everything, this will hopefully put you on track. But well, you'll see different sets have different things they're looking for. This is mostly just trying to keep you... you know, mods usually have a very targeted focus. This isn't necessarily the only two cases, or like the only two types of mods that you're looking for, but these are like some of the more interesting or impactful uh, setups that I usually look for in a mod that I'm farming right now. So, you know, health is very versatile, you'll see down here. We actually have a pretty good amount of stat needed, or stat niches, uh, as well as ideals. Very flexible. You go down to something like crit chance, we actually get pretty narrow. Crit chance, not exactly the most flexible sets, and to the point that there wasn't really even any point in including a second set here. So yeah, feel very good about that. Hopefully it is useful to you too, especially if you're feeling overwhelmed with mods, kind of give you some goals to work towards, because believe me, you will want to have these. And as well, if you're using this, please, please, please give me any feedback, anything you would love to see in a cheat sheet like this. I don't really, I've worked on mods for so stupidly long that I kind of have all this stuff memorized. So it would be awesome to get perspective from people who, you know, again, if you're feeling overwhelmed, 
help me help you. Let me know what would be awesome to cheat sheet for you to see. And I can get that done. Uh, yeah. Moving right along, though, we have the the star of the show for me, if I'm being honest here. This has been amazing. I To me, the true value of a, a cheat sheet or a tool is how often do I really feel like I need to use it? And this counter search, I made it. It actually wasn't that hard to make. It kind of came around quickly. Uh, Patreon.com slash the playbook if you want early access to sheets. This has been floating around for a few weeks now. And oh, this... So essentially what this is, this goes into suh.gg and there are filters you can do via the website, but it's very clunky. This will allow you to cut straight to whatever it is you're looking for. So let's see. Uh, season 14 was a 3v3 season. We can do 16, but there's only one week, so the day is a little bit small. But let's go back to 14. And let's say, like, this is a team that you see kind of every now and then, right? So, Denina Luke Skywalker, the JMO alongside him with Watt Tambor, giving him the tank tech. Kind of a tricky team. I've never fought before personally. So what would we want to use against that? We go to sqh.gg and we can see, boom, everything you need to see here immediately. All the different matchups. You can filter or you can sort either in the guide or in the website. This is, again, just kind of pointing you, like this isn't doing anything that sqh.gg couldn't already do but it's saving you a huge amount of time getting you straight to the data and then of course as well if you wanted you could add eh, let's say like jedi revan is that a thing has anyone won with that team add that to the search and we can see boom immediately all right here's a non-gl counter to a gl that's kind of interesting the win rate's a little bit low but you know win rates in galaxy of heroes are kind of all over the place but certainly that could be an option that you keep in mind Looking down around here as well, we see like a Han going for the stun on Watt, trying to disable that more scene for Bastila lead than Jedi Knight Luke. This team is a little bit more deadly, but again, kind of keeps your juices flowing, keeps you thinking about what things could possibly work. And yeah, this will just work for everything. So, you know, any possible team that you're running into, if you're feeling uncomfortable, or maybe you just need a refresher, there's a lot of stuff to remember this game. And <laughs> certainly it's not easy. No matter how hard you try it, things will slip through the cracks. So let's say like a Mon Mothma. And let's say like a Karen. Right? Not necessarily as easy as the Bigs undersize. Let's see. Okay, we got a spectrum of stuff here, right? This will just work for everything. Let's go with the scene. Let's see. Okay, so there's actually some battles getting dropped here. I was actually kind of curious to see where Nest. Actually, let's do that. Enfys Nest Solo. How is she doing? Ooh, so we can see Hothrible Scout starting to give Nest a little bit of trouble. This probably shouldn't happen, but it can, can happen. And yeah, you start to get down here to like a POW zone. There's not a whole lot of counters to be had there. Yeah. Just give you some idea of everything that's going on. Yeah, fantastic tool. Uh, cannot recommend this enough. I've been using this a ton. I absolutely love it. Hopefully it will be awesome for you too. Uh, moving right along though, we have the GAC history search. This is, you know, there are other ways already to grab people's GAC history. Uh, the one thing that I've found pretty handy here is instead of having to mess with the URL, this will just take you to a past season. So let's pretend that this came out in week one of, you know, this season, season 16. Or, you know, let's say it was... Let's say that we're into the next season already. So it's season 17, it's 5v5. We don't have any recent match history. So let's say we're scouting me and let's go look at the last round of the last week, right? So we go in here, it will click the link below and you go back to suh.gg. And here we are back at the beginning of March. We will see our recent battles and you can see we're looking at my defense now. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, gives you a pretty good idea of everything going on. Uh, just keep in mind that within the website, uh, this drop down here will still only be the most recent battles. So if you want to navigate around beyond that, you do have to edit the URL or you could just make changes here. Either, you know, either works, right? But yeah, a little bit of time traveling match history search for your purposes. And you can see ugh, people have some issues with my defense. Thanks. 
Uh, yeah. Anyway, so that is a pretty good tool as well. Uh, and last but not least, I believe we have a few pretty solid, robust remodding calculators. This is going to be a growing collection over time. Uh, to me, the the real flashy one here is the Imp Trooper calculator. This is a lot more complex than it seems, but a lot of the complexity was hidden because I wanted the end user experience to be as streamlined as possible, let's say. So this is a calculator. Let's see. Let's say like the classic, right? So you can go P at first or Stark first here. Now let's go P at first, Stark second, and then like a range last, right? This is already a pretty Terminator heavy team, so this the speed minimums will drop down a lot. Uh, but this will give you a range to work with. This will give you the minimums as well as, you know, the the maximum for a character is only really based on the character you gave above it. So, you know, it'll say like, you know, Stark minus one, Death minus one, Range minus one. But yeah, this will just work for, you know, 360 p that's a little bit insane, but let's see, go 330. We'll see, okay. That Trooper, if we're trying to save some speed here, we don't want to drop him too low, but 155 is actually pretty low. It actually might be below his base. So whatever works there will be fine. Somewhere between this range and so on. Obviously, Veers. Right, in a Piat team, Veers is just so insane by the end of the Terminator chain that it's not even a big old deal. If you want to clock this team for defense, this calculator can meet with you there. So like, say Gideon's AI will use Shred first. So let's say we put this here. Uh, let's go ahead and say it is a Piet team. It would be insanely costly not to do it with Piets. And let's say you got a new shiny new Dark Trooper. He is in the calculator already. So if we wanted to clock this team for defense, uh, yeah, this will still help you make sure that you hit everything along the way. Uh, you know, I did for purposes of this calculator, uh, Death Trooper being third and Veers being fifth are pretty much standard right now. So... To keep things simpler, I did just kind of lock them in in those slots. Um, if there's ever a need in the future, then I can absolutely change that. But, you know, just to keep things clean for now. And also, if you just, for whatever reason, just so happen to decide that you want to uh, cut Piet out of the team, maybe you need to use him with Vader, Calculator can work with you there as well. So yeah, very, very flexible. Hopefully will be useful for you in your remods. Obviously, we have a lot of good stuff coming up here shortly with dark trooper going farmable hope well about a month from now uh lots of stuff to play with there the dark trooper is going to be causing some mix-ups in term order as well potentially this calculator will be there and also honorable mention this will give you the speed cap for your team you know 330 330 getting a little bit slow so you know your sde your sys speed that you're competing against is actually a little bit on the low end. I'm going to keep an eye out for, as well as I just included other kind of outdated. Imtubers kind of have more ambitions, but this is like the teams that are usually trying to contest you, trying to go before you. So these are the speeds to look out for there. And yeah, robust calculator. I'm a fan. Oh, we didn't have Piet activate. Yeah, speeds are a lot lower, obviously. You need to make sure that you are being honest with this. <laughs> That's why I said don't lie. But yeah, it just it just works does what it says a uh, couple of much smaller ones but n i wouldn't say any less important here if you're running jedi knight revan with jedi knight luke against Supreme Leader kylo you want your old ben to get 100 percent turn meter from whatever your basilisk speed is this is just a simple utility so whatever your basilisk speed is going to be lets you know what your old ben needs you don't really want to waste any more speed than you have to but you also make want to make sure you don't go too low because you need those old ben mind tricks super important this will also give you a speed to watch out for, for, you know, any speedy first order members out there that might be trying to get ahead of you, potentially. Something to keep an eye out for. Yeah, very simple calculator. But again, does what it says. Uh, yeah, and last but not least, JTR, just depending on how you're planning to use her. I've been cutting a lot of mods for my JTR lately as well, and just kind of stealing mods everywhere that I can. So this is just a good way to make sure that your JTR isn't going to fall too far behind here. Uh, very simple overall, not a whole lot of fanciness needed there, but also, actually I might expand this out a little bit, don't want to get Eric R2 in there as well. There are some cases where I think it's kind of nice to be able to have R2 going before BB-8. I'll actually expand this out a little bit before I release this, but yeah, 
Very, very simple, very straightforward. Good stuff. And topical for 3v3 this season. Uh, Supreme Leader Kylo with Daka and Zombie has been a thing for a while. But if you want to take this team to the next level, there is a setup that will block certain teams like Jedi Knight Revan with Jedi Knight Luke. If you set your zombie speed so that he goes right before Kylo's second turn, your zombie will lose all of his turn meter and then he'll get advantage. So that'll give a lot more time for him to start falling into a death loop, the advantage loop, starts getting squishier. You've experienced this yourself firsthand, you know where this is coming from. Uh, really great way to get that set up. Uh, this kind of takes this team to the next level. Certainly not new concepts, but a good modding team and yeah that's about it you know is been a crazy busy week getting all this stuff made i feel really good about this the counter search is just absolutely insane to have again even if you know this stuff it's awesome as a tool of a refresher just to make sure you're seeing kind of everything that's out there being used so yeah hopefully this is awesome for you all as it is then for me and be sure to let me know, you know, any possible recommendations or requests that you might have for features. Well, you won't know unless you tell me. Uh, yeah, link is in the description, link is in the Discord. Link will just be everywhere. Uh, yeah, enjoy.